All right, guys. Uh, full of coming to you with another video. Shout out to the whole LGBT. Um, if you like this video, please feel free to up like it. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead. <coughs> feel free to subscribe to the channel. Stay in the loop with things we have going on. Uh, to, so right now, what I wanted to do was talk about um, some social issues going on. Uh, it appears that, you know, the, the right steps are being taken. You know, maybe they're not being taken as fast as I would like them to be taken, but the, the right steps are being taken uh, right now in, in regards to Africa. Now, what has happened is that um, the president of Benin, I believe his name is Patrice Talon, has decided and, you know, other nations have decided to uh, take all of their CFA reserves out of, um, you know, France. And this is a good thing. Uh, you know, the thing is about it is that, you know, there's actually more money that leaves Africa than actually stays in Africa. I mean, honestly, and this is from personal experience, and this is just from also like talking to other people and stuff. Us outside in, in the diaspora, us who are abroad from our families, with our immediate family still being in Africa, we're actually like the backbone of the African economy. Because what happens is that, you know, we're working, we're doing our jobs, whatever they may be, um, you know, variety of professions. And usually nine times out of 10, on a monthly basis, some money is going back home, you know? And so these foreign dollars like really kind of fund the African economy more so than the domestic dollars form the African economy. And the reason why that is, is because the domestic dollars really don't stay in Africa. They go elsewhere. And, you know, being that France is a former colonial power, of course, it's going to go there mostly. And... There was something that was said that was interesting. Um, he said that, you know, it's not a technical problem. It's a psychological problem. And so, you know, with this being said, I can, I can really dig this, you know, because, you know, we have that issue too much. Like, we, we, we as Africans have that issue that, like, you know, like Europe is better, you know, all the European lifestyle is the one to strive for. Um, we're not hip if we don't speak like French, Portuguese, or something like that. And it's like we, we have this issue, you know what I mean? And so I think, like, this is good because it breaks the chains the psychological change that we have, you know, it's, it's crazy because, like, once we got uh, independence, you know, we never really quite were independent, you know, only by, we, we got paper independence, that's why I want to say we got, but in the reality of things, we never really got, like, um, we, we really never got fully independent, you know. Um, so this is a step in the right direction for that, you know. We got to, like, kind of, like, really uh, decolonize, you know, mentally decolonize. We have to get into the space where we're able to say we can do for self and we can do it with the re resources we have and also with the currency we have because there's the thing man even though we need 
I, I'm of the opinion we need like to go back to a gold currency or something like that. I'm of that opinion. Currency is a uh, is leverage, you know, and the more leverage you have, the less of a chance you're going to be in a um, compromising position. You know what I mean? So this is why I feel that you know this this is long overdue. Like them doing this, them making this move. Um. You know, surprisingly, countries that, you know, where my family are, are in this zone. And one of the countries ain't even like a, a French, former French colony. But I guess since it's in the region, it, they count it as like being one of the guys. And that's Guinea-Bissau. So what's going to happen now is that with countries like Mali, Senegal... Um, Togo, Benin, uh, Guinea Conakry, and these places is that you know they're going to manage the, uh, the like the output and the distribution of the money from Africa rather than it being managed managed and distributed from France and you know what has to happen now is basically a um, just a, a, a currency that's not even a, a West African franc at all like just just get rid of the franc like completely that has to be the next step you know um, I do commend Nigeria because they have a Naira you know they have Naira, so I couldn't say, like, they do pretty much have a, their own currency, which wasn't, like, handed down to them, you know what I mean, so I can say that I like that, you know, that's a good, that's a good look for them, so, you know, this is good news, I mean, hopefully, you know, with this, this is a step towards not only, like, like breaking off monetarily but also the next step to come will be for them to break off materially and what I mean by that is stop just um, like giving these guys free reign to our natural resources and actually bring like, here, here's what I would like to see happen, you know. This is ideally what would be good and uh, the best for the continent. But, you know, this is, of course, asking a lot for this to occur. But basically, what I would like to see is I would like to see the... Um, like more leaders take the initiative of like providing scholarships to our brilliant minds you know because we have a lot of brilliant minds on the continent and I, I would like to see leaders like give them like money stipends and the necessary uh, costs needed to go study abroad in different fields so they can come back and they can learn how to apply what they learn to that field. You know what I mean? Like, I think that should be something that the leaders do more in. You know, if education in Africa cannot provide it there. And eventually, that's that has to be the case where you no longer have to go abroad where you can just study in a facility in Africa to uh, go ahead and, you know, learn what it is you need to learn to uh, contribute to the betterment of your country. You know, that's what I would like to see happen. But these things are like too far-fetched right now. But 
you know, the good news is, is that, you know, this is happening, you know, a step in the right direction is occurring, so, you know, I'm happy about this, and I hope that, you know, that it leads to more, um, something more, you know, that more initiatives are taken in order for us to get out of the, you know, the, the colonial shackles that we you know, still endure, you know, because we, we still have them, you know, we still have the colonial shackles, so it's about time to snap out of those shackles, you know what I mean, and um, other than that, man, it was a good look for us, you know, and let's see how this Develops and also let's just see how France takes it, and you know let's hope that the, the Benin president stays alive. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what happens when you try to get um, gain self sufficiency, right? You know you want a nation build, and you want a nation build on your terms, which don't necessarily mean that you say to the hell with, um, you know, the colonial, uh, master, but you basically say, you know, y'all ain't dictating anything that goes on here, you know, but anyhow, man, leave your thoughts, leave your comments, let me know if this is a step in the right direction, and let me know, um, you know, what you think, uh, you know, what else needs to be done, you know, in, in regards to this, um, this issue, you know, we were signing out, in general.